Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I, okay, the AC has finally gone off. Today's vlog is going to be all about what I ate in a day on a detox cleanse. So if you guys follow me on IG, you know that I take out a couple of days in a month to go on a detox cleanse. And usually seven days is something I've been doing for the past five years consistently. And it's one of the ways that have managed to stay very physically fit <laughs> in appearance and have maintained my um, ideal weight goal literally for over, I haven't fluctuated in weight for, for more than five, four or five years now. The number one question I usually get asked very often is how am I able to maintain my weight even whilst being active in the culinary industry? And I'm like, I detox, I do things that has helped me just balance things all out. And the detox cleanse is something that I know for sure has helped me maintain a healthy weight. So earlier this year, in January, I opened it up to um, the public. From January till now, I think that so far we've had about 3,000 subscribers who have subscribed to it and who are doing like who have some some of them have been consistent some have not been the feedback that we get from it has been quite amazing so it's it's encouraged us to just continue to let it open so i add anyone who is interested to an exclusive membership group we share a meal plan a seven day meal plan that has breakfast lunch and dinner and healthy snacks we also would share an exercise follow along exercise videos we also would share um full um a full shopping list a full journaling guide we share, um, there's so many things that we share when you decide to sign up for the monthly detox cleanse. So today I'm just going to show you guys what I eat in a day. Usually it's seven days, but I'll show what I eat for just one day. And I have just started on my day by making a cup of tea. I've done my morning routine. I've prayed, um, drank water. I took my two glasses of water earlier in the day. And um, I'm just making myself tea now and I'm about to also do some journaling. For us, detox is just not basically abstaining from food. Detox is just giving your body a break. Your body deserves a break ever so often. Look at liking your body to a machine. Imagine you keep working a machine over and over and over and over again. At some point, the machine is going to break down on you. But giving the machine some time to just take some rest is, um, would help increase the lifespan of the machine. So is your body. If you keep bombarding your body with food and food and food and don't, you don't give it a break to relax, soon it's going to break down on you. And that's one of the reasons a lot of people have so many terrible sicknesses and illnesses that sometimes are deadly. So I always say, give your body a break, take a detox cleanse, go on a detox cleanse and give your body a break. Now your body already has all of the natural detox organs that it needs to help you detoxify all you're doing is just aiding those detox organs by doing the right things eating the right meals um giving it giving the detox organs a break to do their work 
by just feeding yourself with very light things, mostly fluid and um, foods that have lots of fiber in them just so that they can really work. And then of course, foods that are very nourishing and you li limit the amount of food that you eat just so that your body can have time to just reset itself. So basically that's what a detox is for. And I also think that it's the perfect way to create the perfect balance. So seven days, you're focused on clean eating. You're focused on doing activities that, are, that will foster health, activities like sleeping, exercising, journaling, meditating, which are the things that we, would, we usually would do during the seven days on the group. The reward is amazing, right? So pretty much, basically, that's what I do on our monthly detox cleanse. And usually it's for seven days, but I'm just going to show you guys what I eat in a day. This is the first actual food that's going into my tummy. It's just a cup of tea. This is a digestive tea. It's just going to help open up my tummy. And then while I'm taking the tea, I'm also going to be journaling, penning down my thoughts. In the seven day detox group cleanse thingy that we do, I also give you a complete guide to detox and um, to journaling. So you know exactly what to, how to journal, where to begin your journaling journey, just in case you don't know stuff about that. So I really encourage you guys to subscribe to it if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Mm. Oh, still hot. <laughs> the most important thing to do first thing in the morning is get yourself in a powerful state. If you're in a great mood, you will produce great results. You will have a great day. The better your attitude, the better the results you produce. Look at yourself in the mirror. And repeat to yourself, today is today going to be going a, to great, be a day. great day. No matter I will give my best. I will give so, my tomorrow best. so tomorrow will be, better. will be better. We all have the same amount of time, but some people make the most of it, and some people drudge through it. Make the most of yours. So guys, my fitness coach is almost here. Um, just to give you guys a quick update, I'm about to get into that. Before that, I want to take time now to make some cucumber water and my chia seed cereal, which is going to serve as my lunch. So on, a, on detox days, I don't have breakfast. I try to give myself a food break for breakfast. And the first meal I'm going to be having would be for lunch. And that would be chia seed cereal that's going to be topped with some fruit and some nuts. I'll show you how I do that now. I'm making the lunch now because if you know chia seed cereal, you'll know that it needs some time, at least two, three hours to um, soak up the milk and become soft like a pudding. This is just about past, sorry, to 9 a.m. And by the time I'm ready to have it at 1, I want it to already be very soft for me to have. And on detox days as well, I always also ensure that I take two bottles of this. This is the 150 cl bottle. I always ensure I finish up two of this. I am already halfway done with one and then throughout the rest of the day, I'm going to be finishing up the rest. Sure that the, the liquid is a lot so that because the chest it will literally expand it will triple in size i'm not going to add the fruits at this point i'm going to add it when i'm ready to eat it um, around one o'clock so i'll just cover this up now put it in the fridge and then <laughs> so we're working out right now in my backyard hello. say hello Hi. so you guys let's do this
started. Fam, we just finished the first set of exercises downstairs. That was a combination of cardio and strength. Now we're back upstairs and we're going to start with the tummy training. So this is just a quick check-in and a quick update oops and a quick update for you all you guys won't believe that i've actually been on this chair and just to be sure that my, the mic is on i've been on this chair the past how many hours now it's 4 14. i've been here since 11. had lunch at about 1. it's 4 14 now and i literally got engrossed in work i've just been hydrating taking my water and the cucumber water as well and I don't feel hungry I feel a little bit of ache from the exercise that I did earlier but apart from that I don't feel hungry still on with my water I've been drinking as much as I can as often as I can just to ensure that I'm well hydrated and I've been peeing like crazy. I think the only thing I, I'm getting up to do from here is just go pee. I've, I think I've peed like four times since since 11 o'clock. Anyways, quick update. Um, what I'm going to do now is go get ready for dinner. Um, dinner is going to be something very light and simple. So let me just recap. The only thing I've eaten today, my two glasses of water in the morning, the cup of tea that I had. Then I had the chested pudding at one o'clock. That was my lunch because I literally fasted all morning. Chested pudding was my lunch. And then I was taking the cucumber water intermittently um, right now. And of course, I'm still staying hydrated. I've still been drinking lots and lots of water. I think that 
I'm on the second bottle now and this is where this is where it, it, it is at so the only thing that I'm gonna have now next is just um dinner which I plan to have before 6 and then I'm going to have a snack final snack at 7 30 and that would be all for the day see I'll just I'll work for about 30 more minutes and then I'll go make dinner okay so for dinner I'm choosing to make a simple stir fried veggies with some scrambled eggs and it's just a pretty simple and light dinner this is just one day of course there's variety of things that I eat for the seven days if you're interested in joining this november edition i'm going to put a link in the description box down below you can join us or you can also send us an email indicating interest i tell you it's something that will be beneficial to you um, just give it a try and see for yourself okay I'm seasoning this with some cumin powder, curry powder, fine, um, a little tiny bit of seasoning powder and then some salt to taste and then I'll mix everything together to combine. They fried this for like a minute or two. Um, I had this leftover brown rice that I made earlier in the week because I believe so much that our body really needs carb. Um, so whether I'm, or not I'm on a detox, I always like to add some carbs to my meal. So I'm adding just a tiny bit of that. I also added the red and green bell peppers and the yellow bell peppers as well. And my dinner is pretty much done. I'm serving this up with the scrambled eggs. And this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. You guys, this thing was so fitting because of the veggies. And I almost didn't even finish it. I had to force myself to complete it because I've had, I had so much water. After eating dinner, I decided to take a walk around the neighborhood because um, I was actually taking out the trash. So I took a 20 to 30 minute walk and then I came back home and this is going to be my snack of choice. This is just some tiger nuts, you guys. I take tiger nuts because it's packed loaded with fiber and I also take it majorly anytime I want to do the number two very easily. I find that when I take it at night, the next morning it's always very super duper easy for me to do the number two. And this is what I'm going to be snacking on. At this time, it was already 8 p.m. I finished up the snack, finished up my water, and then I freshened up and went to bed. And that's pretty much what I eat on a detox cleanse. All right, family, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.